Today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about grilling. And we're gonna start with the grill itself. What you need is a clean grill. This is really important. We don't want any of that food left over from last time. It's pretty simple to do. I have my small little grill brush here. And a little bit of spray. Be careful because the spray will flare up a little bit. I just spray it a little bit. And then I clean it just like that. I usually use a towel just to wipe off any debris that are on there. Now that we have a hot, clean grill, we need to know the temperature of it. This is a hot grill. The way I know is I can hold my hand above for five seconds, maybe even a little bit less. And that is a super hot grill. If it's 10 seconds, 15 seconds is a slow grill, 10 seconds is a medium grill. Grilling steaks. My favorite is skirt steak. I actually do not oil my steaks or grease them at all because what I want is the natural fats to help it cook. I season both sides. I use kosher salt, black pepper, and right onto our hot grill. One key, very important, have patience. With grilling, it's patience. What we're trying to do is build that flavor. So what we do is we just let it sear. This has been cooking about a minute. I'm gonna flip it over. So how do you know when it's done? A lot of practice. For chefs, we touch them. The other way, is a thermometer. This is a thermopen. It takes about three seconds to read. I love these things. And we can just stick them in the meat and see the temperature. Nice hot fire. It's gonna give it that caramelization, that flavor. One of the most important parts for meats especially, but fish as well, is to let it rest. Salmon, unlike steaks, and most fish, low in fat. So I lightly oil it with a little bit of canola oil. I take my seasoned salmon, and I put it right on the grill. What's great about cooking salmon, and most fish, tuna, is you can watch it, and you can see it changing color. And it will go from this beautiful pink to um, almost a softer, whiter pink. On a big piece like this, I have my hotter grill on this side, and a cooler grill over here. So I'm gonna sear it on the hot side, getting that caramelization, making that crust that I love so much on grilled food. And then I'm gonna slow roast it over here. Maybe I'll even put the lid on it, and kind of get a little smoke in there to give a little great flavor. So our salmons are pretty much done. I can tell by touching it, I've been doing this for a long time, but also I can put my thermometer in, and I'm looking for about 140 degrees. These are perfect. For me, sometimes the simplest is best. A little bit of fresh lemon. Oh, this is delicious. Salmon has this beautiful golden brown crust right there and a soft pink center. To me, that's a perfectly cooked salmon. In our book, Grilled to Perfection, we teach you how to grill perfect, and this is just one thing you can do. I strongly advise you that if you are grilling, don't walk away from it. Stand around, have yourself a beer, not too many, and just watch your meats cook. Really important. Whatever you do, hope you have a safe and happy grilling season.